Now, I get why many of you requested it. I mean, obviously, I'm probably the most notorious guy on YouTube for calling out fake weights, whether that's Brad Castleberry, Gracie and Barbosa, or anyone else who has ever attempted the use of fake weights. So I'm gonna make this video very short. Um, yeah, of course, Jeff is using fake weights. It's pretty obvious. He's curling 135 for ease. He's pin bench pressing 315. Now, I also wanna state many of these videos that are being brought forward and the allegations against Jeff and Athlean X are back from like 2014, 2015. And I also don't think Jeff is using the fake weights in the same scenarios as let's say Brad Castleberry or Gracie and Barbosa. But if you always lift to full extension like this, how's it gonna tear? It's not gonna tear. But regardless, whatever facet Jeff is using the fake weights in, mainly the fact that he lied about using the fake weights in his 495 pound deadlift is why this is even becoming an issue in my opinion. Athlean X, many of you probably watch the channel, you're probably subscribed, or maybe you've seen a video at some point through your YouTube history. Jeff is a physical therapist who teaches tutorial videos on YouTube of how to work out. Now with Brett Castleberry, obviously the scenario is entirely different. It's all for ego, it's all to break worlds every single day, 22 years consecutively natural. Grace Ann Barbosa is basically the same thing as Brad Castleberry, where it's quite evident and obvious that it's fake weights, but for some some reason they feel the need to post this on social media and neither Brad or Gracie and Barbosa or 99% of the people using fake weights aren't doing it in an instructional tutorial video. I mean, shit, many of you probably remember on my Instagram quite some time ago, there was this girl in a movie warehouse where there's a bunch of props and she's curling the 100 pound dumbbells, which are pretty much the same exact ones that Brad Castleberry was using. I mean, I don't wanna burst anyone's fucking bubble, but that video of me on my Instagram curling 315 pounds, uh, sorry to say, but it's not 315 pounds. Jeff would have never claimed to be lifting those numbers or if he just never addressed it and just continued to use it in an informational instructional video format. I mean, shit, there probably wouldn't have been any problem. So do I have a problem with Jeff using fake weights? No, uh, I don't know who would, but the problem I do have is that he lied about it. I mean, that's really what it all boils down to. If he would just would have been honest and said, yeah, I used fake weights in order to make my scenes or my videos look better at a higher production level to make it more appealing to the audience so they better understand, then yeah, I would totally understand that. So enter in Greg Doucette. <laughs> If I had to bet my life, if I had to bet $1 million, I was forced to choose. Is Jeff natural or is Jeff freaking enhanced? My life's on the line. Craig, is Jeff natural or not? Do I have to answer? Yes. He's not natural. He's not natural. Am I still alive? Now, this part absolutely makes zero sense to me. Okay, so we have Greg Doucette who uploads a YouTube video now changing his mind on Jeff Cavalier and Athlean X, where before he thought he was using fake weights, but he didn't have a problem with it. Now he has a problem with it. And now he's calling out Jeff for being a fake natural. My life's on the line. Greg, is Jeff natural or not? And in that very moment is a life or death decision. You were gonna say Jeff is not natural. And now this is when things start to get extremely, extremely interesting. So Jeff Cavalier, Athlean X, uploads a comment onto Greg's video where he calls him out about being a fake natural now and about all the lying. And he says, hi, Greg. As a rule, I don't spend my time focusing on those who attempt to gain my attention. I also respectfully stay out of the negativity that often turns YouTube fitness into a sideshow rather than a platform to help and inspire others. That said, you've levied some serious allegations here. I'm inviting you down to take whatever drug test you'd like for me to take. Don't wait, get on a plane, come down. I will pay for your flight and your hotel. I'll even let you watch me pee in a cup if that's your thing. I'll let you bring your own videographer and chronicle the whole thing so you can upload the video to your channel and get the views. That said, everyone should have some skin in the game. Don't worry, I'm not asking for your life as in your gun to head scenario. What I am asking is that if I pass your test that you do the responsible thing for making allegations like this and shut your channel down. I'll also shut down my channel and give you a million of the supposed 10 million a year that I make. <laughs> I will be awaiting your response. I just need to know what airline do you prefer? So yo, stuff's getting crazy now. We have Jeff Cavalier, Athlean X, basically challenging Greg Doucette to fly out where Jeff Cavalier is gonna cover all of Greg's travel expenses, his hotel, pay for the test, 
just to prove to Greg and to the audience that uh, basically Jeff is natural. This is where we need to see Greg actually step up to the content he makes. Anyone can be a keyboard warrior, make videos behind a screen. The big cojones of who is the actual alpha. I don't think he's natural. He's freaking ripped all the freaking time. He's got a lot of muscle. He's older than me. And he doesn't really train that hard. Also, this part of Greg's video doesn't make sense to me. It almost seems as though Greg Doucette has a vendetta now against Athlean X because he was wrong about his initial video where he got some negative backlash from it. So now he's changing his mind and he seems to be going on the attack against Jeff. He's stating Jeff isn't natural because he's ripped year round. But I mean, if you look at Jeff's physique, it's just an athletic physique. This is where we need to see Greg actually back up all the talk. If he doesn't do it, I'm actually gonna be quite disappointed uh, if he passes up this opportunity. Yo, so Greg says he doesn't know how tall he is, how much he weighs. I mean, really, you could have done a one minute Google search for that information. I don't believe any of it. I think he's way over exaggerating his strength. I don't know how tall he is. I don't know how much he weighs. I don't know what his body fat is. Greg, you are supposed to know everyone's body fat percentage. This is the holy grail of body fat testing. No, it's not. My freaking eyeballs are the holy grail of freaking body fat testing. I don't know how tall he is. I don't know how much he weighs. I don't know what his body fat is. No, it's not. My freaking eyeballs are the holy grail of freaking body fat testing. You all wanted my thoughts on the fake weights. Yeah, they're fake. I mean, it really could have been a five second video. Do I think it's as serious as the other influencers on social media using fake weights? No, I, I really don't. I can't really justify that. I think of Jeff's content more as a movie entertainment where I would rather watch someone lift a fake 495 pound deadlift than deadlifting the bar if they're showing a tutorial video. But I will definitely, and I assume many of you will also be waiting for the response from Greg Doucette to see if he actually is a man of his word and will go out and test. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't do it? A million dollars. So uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, and yeah, just remember, don't be a fake natty, don't lie about fake weights, don't be a Brad Castleberry, don't be a Grace Amber Bosa, and be careful.